Lunar Maris is a book that I wrote and illustrated myself, um, and it's the story of the the moon comes out of the sky and turns into a boat to visit the ocean, and uh, hopefully learns a little bit along the way. When I t t set out to do this, I wanted to write something that didn't treat children like idiots. Uh, so you know, one of the main characters, and it's actually a coelacanth. Uh, and uh, to make that a little bit easier on everybody, we've actually included the pronunciation key and the definition of what a coelacanth is and why it's important. Uh, and hopefully to write something that the parents wouldn't uh, hate reading over and over and over again. The illustrations were all done uh, by hand uh, with colored pencil on, uh, and they were all done on black paper, which is why they, they are hopefully you know, fairly luminescent. Uh, and then, you know, they were touched up bits and pieces here with paint and things like that. A good chunk of them were done over the course of about a week after I hurt my back and couldn't get up from a chair that I was sitting in. I, I don't deviate from my color palette, or at least I haven't for uh, quite some time. Most of what I do is with primary colors and then I'll add brown. Um, I don't use black at all, uh, although on, with this I did. Uh, but um, most of the mixing I do is visual, so if I want a green I will do a glaze of blue and yellow to, to get the green. Uh, so with, with this, I just took the same palette um, that I used with the artwork. I took a, had a, a very specific blue that I felt was nice and, uh, nice and vibrant. My wife and I have a band called Ego Likeness, and we spend a lot of time on tour. And when you're locked in a van for 12 hours a day, you run out of things to talk about very quickly, and you have to learn to uh, keep yourself entertained. So a lot of this stuff begins life in these sketchbooks. Um, so for instance, with this one, this was from my primary anatomy book. This was actually original to the page and then everything else gets kind of built around it um, and just blocked out literally with just pieces of labels or other pieces. So like with this guy here, that jaw was original to the page and then everything else was built around that. When we get home from tour, they get uh, cut out and literally scotch taped to the backs of uh, the insides of book paper or insides of hardback books. If I want green, I'll, you know, sometimes I'll actually use green paint, but most of the time it's, uh, I haven't deviated from my color palette in about 10 years, uh, and so most of my mixing is visual. You're not helping. And I don't remember things very long, so I'm going to forget what we were talking about. That's okay. But that was a two-flusher. That was good. Yeah.